Static cuts can be really jarring and add an unpolished feel to your videos. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can add transitions in Final Cut Pro. So to apply any transitions, the basic requirement will be that you have two video clips next to each other in your timeline. The first thing you'll need to do is open the transitions tab. If you don't know how to access this already, you'll need to press the transitions icon at the upper right hand corner of the timeline. If you're having trouble finding it, it looks like two connected triangles. You may already see a similar panel open, but it is possible that this is the effects browser rather than the transitions browser. Make sure the transitions icon is highlighted purple to ensure that you have the correct panel open. Final Cut Pro organizes transitions into a number of different categories, ranging from dissolves, which are the more traditional and subtle transitions that you usually see in movies and most typical videos, to stylized wipes and zooms that are used in more specialized scenarios. You can preview the transition by scrubbing over it with your mouse, which allows you to get a really good look at all of the transitions and decide what is really fitting for the style that you want to go for. Once you've found that desired look, drag the transition from the transitions browser to the space between the two clips on the timeline. Now that you've got your transition applied, you may not be happy with the duration or the placement of this transition. To adjust the length of your transition, hover your mouse over the edge of the transition to extend or shorten it. If the edges of the transition turn red, this means that the clip the transition is applied to has run out and can't be extended any longer. If you want to adjust the length of the clips that the transition is applied to, this can easily be done by grabbing and dragging the two lines on the transition block. Dragging from the right side will adjust the first clip, while dragging from the left side will adjust the second clip. By dragging the icon seen in the center of the transitions block, you will move a cut simultaneously adjusting the lengths of both clips. This is more of a specialized function, but some editors may use this when they want to trim a clip without messing up other parts of the timeline, such as cuts that are synced to music. When doing this, the viewer will show both the end of the first clip as well as the beginning of the second clip, so you can monitor both of the edit points that you're adjusting. Using transitions is perfect for avoiding a jarring cut and an unpolished beginner's look. If you're interested in learning more about editing your videos, check out our growing playlist of tutorials right up here. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know.